thank you so much uh, for coming. I'm, it's incredibly um, uh, exciting to welcome Lu Wenyu and Wang Xu uh, here to Colombia after 10 years since the last time you spoke here in this auditorium. Uh, and uh, uh, Lu Wenyu and, and Wang Xu founded their office for amateur architecture, the Amateur Architecture Studio in 1997 uh, in uh, Hanzhou. And for me, the, the name of their office is incredibly inspiring, uh, identifying the limits of the expert knowledge and uh, adventuring, I would say, architecture into a process of tentative experimentation, in a, very much in a John Dewey way of learning to doing things and giving uh, design a very exploratory capacity, as you've done. But what is also very exciting for me from your work is that that experimentation was not necessarily futuristic, but was rather thinking about the past and the memory and the, the, the traditions and the ways of doing that, the materialities that were inherited and how to, how to deal with them in the present and project them to the future. This notion of experimentation, I think it's very much also uh, 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 putting value to this amateur architecture that questions the, the tyranny of, uh, of expert knowledge. Though, of course, that requires so much expert knowledge that you develop. The ones who spent eight years actually working uh, with craftsmen in construction, right? From 1990 90, uh, to 1998, before you, you uh, opened your office. Um, and you both studied at Nanjing Institute of Technology. Uh, the first project that I saw uh, from your office in person was the 2000, uh, in the 2006 Venice Biennial, the Tile Garden, a beautiful garden that probably all of you know, composed by tiles, pile tiles, and the, that produced this surface and this bridge that could allow to walk on them, right? Uh, a beautiful project that was talking of a very different way to address contemporary architecture and very different ways of understanding the, what nature could be and what a garden would be. Uh, the, in 2008, uh, the same year that actually OMA opened the, or completed the CCTV headquarters, uh, you completed actually the Ningbo Historical Museum. It was open to the public that year. And I think that is a project that was very much uh, showing that very different things were happening in China in the world of architecture and through your work and through your, your approach to architecture. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the Nimbo Museum uh, was actually reflecting on the whole process of urbanization, rapid, unprecedented, I would say, urbanization that had happened, that China had gone through, and what was the, the trauma that that inflicted in, in, in rural areas and how architecture could actually bridge that trauma and operate there something that was very different to the way architecture was from China and producing China was circulating at that time and that immediately so, uh, allowed us to see that something different was growing from your office in China in conversation with other of your colleagues there. Uh, the, and rapidly, of course, you got uh, all recognitions. The Nimba Museum won the Luban Prize in 2008, which is considered the top architectural prize in China. In 2010, you were awarded the selling prize, and, in, and two years later, one sue you won the Pritzker Prize. Uh, the, I also love that that very year, after the Pritzker Prize, uh, you were called to, do, to start the conversations for the Vancom Village Project, right? A project that, again, was shaking the way we could discuss architecture across the world, and you were invited to intervene in this village that was, as you described, a mixture of very beautiful old buildings with not that beautiful <laughs> other buildings, but that you carefully care for creating 14 new houses on the west uh, 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 limit of the village uh, that would somehow reflect and mobilize the traditional construction, the craftsmanship that still uh, was uh, present in the village as a way to operate uh, change that would permeate and infiltrate uh, the conservation and the preservation of the rest of the village. And, uh, I, I've read many of the interviews that you gave explaining this project. I was very much moved by the way you explained that you had conversations and you ended up having an influence in how other people would think about their homes and how to preserve them and how to intervene them. This way of doing architecture, of course, was identifying architecture and architecture's materiality 
not that much just as the election of, of, a, of, a, of a texture or a color, but rather understanding that materiality is a broader uh, social construction that was connected to also labor, uh, to traditions, to knowledge, and to the construction of communities and societies. And actually, I would like to, uh, to, to say that also for us, it was very important to see that what we do here reflects on your own interest. Uh, that the, the, your, your dedication to teaching and research is something that also shaped your practice. And, and Wan Su is the Dean of, of China Academy of Arts, and you were telling me that you keep making time to meet with your students uh, in your busy agenda and, and have periodic conversations with them and being in touch with younger people that are starting to discuss the, 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 their uh, process to architecture. Uh, I, I would like to finish this introduction before I, I invite you to come here to the podium by reading some words that you, that that one Su you said when you when you were given the when you were awarded with the Pritzker Prize. Everywhere you can see, they don't care about the materials. They just want new buildings. They just want new things. I think the material is not just about materials. Inside, it has the people's experience, memory, many things inside. So I think it's for an architect to do something about it. Please help me welcome in. Lu, Wenyu, and Wansu to this party. Thank you. We are very happy to uh, come back because I, I, I gave the speaking here, I think, 10 years ago. And now, this time, especially after the pandemic, and uh, we can go out of China and uh, come to here. So it's really feel very happy. And uh, today uh, we, we, we want to uh, speak uh, something. The topic is about uh, co-existing with the nature. Yeah, this is our basic way in the uh, party past 20 years, what uh, all our work to do something uh, about this topic. Um, today I will speak first and because I can speak a little bit English. So <laughs> as, as for my speaking, and it's, uh, it's Lu, he will speak in Chinese <laughs> and maybe they need a translator. So I will, okay, speak first. <laughs> so uh, usually the people when the people discuss our works, they will talk about the materials, about the Chinese tradition, about some uh, poetic way. But in fact, for, for us, most important things uh, is it, reality. Yeah, all our work is have the background. Uh, the background is the China's real reality. What is the real social reality in China? What's the basic background in China? Uh, first, we should talk about a big city, you know. When, when all of the world and people talk about China, I think the first thing they will talk about big city, huge city. And uh, I think first the word is a scale. And uh, how many big cities in China? A lot. Of, it's, I think uh, at least we have uh, more than <coughs> 100 city the population larger than one million, and uh, top 10, maybe top care, we can find uh, Beijing, we have uh, 21, 22 million, and Tianjin have 13 million, Xi'an is about 13 million, Shanghai is about 24 million, Wuhan is about uh, 13 million, for 40 million, Wuhan, you know Wuhan, it's uh, COVID-19, it's uh, happened <laughs> <from here. laughs> and uh, Chengdu, 21 or 22 million, and Chongqing, 32 million, and uh, Guangzhou is about 18 million, and Shenzhen is about uh, near 18 million. It's, it's, very fun, it's very funny, for example, Shenzhen in the, in the 1980s, it's a small village, about several hundred people. Then 
China want to build a new city near Hong Kong. Then they have urban planning after 10 years. This, they, they imagine about 30 years later, Shenzhen will become a city of more than 1, 10 million people. This is the urban planning. And so just 15, 15, year, 15 years later, they find they have, have uh, more than 10 million. Now they have uh, 17 or 18 million. It's incredible, even for Chinese, it's an incredible development. Of course, Hangzhou, our studio is in Hangzhou. Hangzhou is a small one. We only have 30 million population. So well, we can give a directly feeling about the China city. For example, this is the Beijing. It's a, usually people know Forbidden City, but in fact, Forbidden City only a small, small things in Beijing. That's Beijing. A totally different things. When they think about Chinese tradition, it's, uh, it's, it's this, Forbidden City and Hutong, something like this. But in fact, majority Beijing people <laughs> living in something like this. This is the Beijing. So it's a, this is a real reality. What, so the people start to thinking about what the, chi what the Chinese city. For example, this is Beijing, all oh, this Photo is about Beijing, but only the small uh, square within the red line is a bit old Beijing. But uh, in the past the 30 years, at least the 10 times, extend the city, extend. When I'm the childhood, I live in Beijing. That time I live in with very near the red line. Out of the red line, oh, it's a farmer field, no building. But now it's uh, incredible, similar to a uh, bomb, boom, there's uh, something <laughs> <laughs> happened. For example, there's a uh, Shanghai. But the people talk about Shanghai, an uh, old Shanghai is only the bank along the river like this. The foreigner uh, come to China, they built this city, the, the European style. That's uh, Shanghai now. It's not the pho uh, pho Photoshop, <laughs> maybe. It's a, it's a real, real things. It's a Shanghai. So I think the people, uh, the first uh, feeling about China, it's uh, the scale of the city, the scale. I think another feeling is about the density. That's a Chongqing in the West China. It's a very beautiful city along the Yangtze River. The same place, that place, it's a city gate. The people uh, take the boat, come to here, along the river. The same place. Seven years ago, they want to build some uh, amazing things here. Now, there's a Chongqing. It's, it's uh, similar to some uh, AI works. They copy the Singapore. <laughs> they directly <laughs> copy something here. <laughs> but the architect <laughs> is the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Shenzhen. It's a Shenzhen. Uh, that was 30 years ago, like this. That's just the beginning of the city. They, they want to build new city, do some new urban planning plan. This is Shenzhen now. 30 years. So I think of the architects, when they see the photo like this, they will have the, the people will have the incredible confident, the human, <laughs> we can do something like this. Just within 30 years, and we can build a huge new city like this. Uh, but uh, I think even Chin Chinese may be shocked. That's our city. It's a beautiful landscape city. We have uh, in the city center, we have uh, it's a lake. Beautiful lake. That's why our studio is in here. I think it's the most beautiful city in China. We, we, we get a lot of feeling from our city. For example, in China, the Hangzhou have a special position in the past thousand history. And uh, especially, it, it's, it's the city's structure. Usually, we talk about half is the landscape, half is the city. Combined together, it's the 
complete meaning for Chinese. What is the city? City is something like this. Half is 50% is the landscape. 50% is building. Co-band together, it's a beautiful city. So Hangzhou, in fact, for uh, many Chinese cities in the history, Hangzhou is a perfect model. That's Hangzhou. I just gave the photo, it's about the small things within the red line. But now all the yellow, <laughs> yellow things is our new city, like this. It's, it's also happened in the past 30 years. Another thing about the density. That in the China, every city now like this. Something is old, something is new, totally uh, mixed together. Usually the people will g give the critic about where is our urban planning? <laughs> it's something, everything de developed very, a little bit of disorder, like this. There's a Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai, it's the Chongqing. I just talked about something similar to Singapore, like this. <laughs> yeah. Another thing about countryside. But the China, in the China, the reality like this. The city and the countryside are totally separate. It's a different world. For example, usually architects only can work in the city. In the countryside, the farmers do everything by, by themselves. They don't need architects. So they totally different world. But usually we have a more uh, uh, traditional, traditional village building things in countryside. But in fact, in countryside, we also have a big chain. This, the up is a traditional village, incredibly beautiful. And the down is a new village everywhere, all over China. You, you, you will find that the, the, all this, this country, they have some uh, incredible decision. They want to change. Yeah, they want to, uh, they, in fact, they want to abandon, totally abandon the, their tradition. They, they want to become new, totally. So the best question in China, I think, for architects, the best question, one of these questions is this. Is urban urbanization is the only path for China's development? You, usually, I ask myself this question. An, another very obvious thing is uh, everywhere you will find the buildings, especially large or huge structures, man-made structures, uh, in opposite opposition on the nature. It's the basic things like this. So usually, when the people have the, with the very poetic way to think about, to talk about China, we are saying, oh, China is a poetic country. <laughs> we have a lot of things about nature, for example, landscape paintings, landscape poems, something like this. It's the imagination. Of course, it's in, 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 in the past time, it's also the reality. For example, everywhere the village like this, it's an uh, incredible, uh, beautiful, high density and uh, with the nature together, something like this. The building is, a, every building is very small, but they compose to uh, something uh, similar to the, how to call it, the fabric or the carpet, something like this. About the village, another very important uh, uh, historic resources is the garden. Yeah, another way. I think the most beautiful uh, architectural language is the Chinese garden. In the cities, with a very high density, because usually in China, even in the history, uh, our cities uh, have a large population, so we have a very high density, even in the history. Yeah, so this, this is a very uh, beautiful garden in Suzhou, another city near our cities you are fine. It's a basic language. The buildings, small buildings, similar to some uh, uh, network. And uh, they with the natural things, the trees, waters, totally mixed together. It's not just means uh, park, it's not park. It's a garden. The garden also, is, uh, it's, it's architecture, in fact, for me. Yeah, it's some different kind of architecture, like this. It's, it's incredible, beautiful 
models a little bit similar to our city, Hangzhou. I just talk about half is the landscape, half is the building, the mix together. The city lacks this, architecture also lacks this. They have the same uh, language, same structure of the language like this. Our studio get a lot of idea from this transition. For example, this painting is about our city, Hangzhou. The amazing thing is you almost can't find buildings. All this city are uh, totally mixed in the nature. You just can some uh, thing similar to the air. Nothing. <laughs> air, just the air. The feeling like this. I get the best feeling uh, about the architecture from this paintings. For example, this is another famous painting about Chinese countryside. Where is the building? Where is the people? In fact, you will find the building similar to some secret in there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a basic feeling about the architecture in the traditional Chinese imagination. I think it's had a very big influence for us, for, for our studio's work. How, what's our best attitude to the nature? So usually we're thinking about, when they face to such a major culture uh, clash, and uh, what we can do? Uh, another basic uh, thinking is, usually we can't believe urban plan. <laughs> if architects <laughs> you don't <laughs> believe urban planning, how we can use the architecture way to repair the relation between the architecture and the nature? Yeah. Our studio is in here, near the, near the lake. Some building inside is our studio. Yeah. Yes. I, I remember in before the 20 years, some people asked me, why you are so good architect? Why are you studying in Hangzhou? You are so stupid, you should study in Beijing or Shanghai <laughs> or Shenzhen. Why are you studying in <laughs> Hangzhou? It's the countryside. Yeah. But now, people, so, people usually say, oh, why you are so, so, so smart? <laughs> <laughs> so because this is our background. Of course, Hangzhou also has big change. Incredible things is uh, they demolish almost every old things. Even something be built just uh, 15 years or 20 years ago in city, it means, in China city, it means old. So they, don't, they want to demolish and they rebuild. Of course, for architects, that's good things. You have, we have a lot of jobs, but it's a really a good job. I, 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 I don't know. For example, after 2000, it's Hangzhou, all the Chinese big city like this. They, 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 they demolish the small things and they build high rise and huge things. And the, the building become bigger and bigger, higher and higher, <laughs> something like this. And uh, when, the, when, 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 when the city become like this, we will find the, the the nature gradually be, be uh, how to call it, city become bigger and uh, nature go back. <coughs> After demolition and the city to, to build something like this, it's Hangzhou, where is the lake, where the landscape, you have a lot of building here. It's our new train station for the high speed train. In fact, we have two. We, this one is very huge and we, we just finished Another huge one like this. It's another new train station uh, about high speed trains. So, where is China? The China has a poetic history, has a high quality of our landscape, paintings, cities. Where is China? In fact, China disappears. So, all our works have some dream. We want some uh, different China come back. The China still can keep a very uh, beautiful relation to the natures. Yeah, this poetic way. For example, 
that's our campus. We finish, uh, we, we do this work between the 2001 to 2007. Uh, you can see the middle part is our architecture school. I and uh, Lou will also teach, we all teach here, yes. And uh, it, it's, it, it's a campus, but uh, it not just means the campus. We want to try some different city architecture language here. And you want to find, we, we keep the very high density, high density building uh, along the boundary fast to the cities. Then we keep the large space uh, between the mountain and the buildings. Yeah, we create a, a landscape area. Yeah. You can remember, I just talked about Hangzhou city's structure. Half is the land landscape, uh, half is the buildings. The basic language like this. In fact, we can design, we, we can design and build a building here for the urban planning, 100 meters is no problem. But the architect, we do that, we control those buildings uh, very low, then they can mix with the architect with, uh, with, with, with uh, nature. Uh, nature together. We also cut the building to small pieces. They also want that the building be mixed with nature together. Uh, in fact, for architects, it means uh, almost uh, 10 times work. Yeah, if, if you just, in, in, in other China's university, maybe we can design two or three buildings finished <laughs> this work. It's huge buildings, two or three, enough. But here, we, we separate the building to 20 or 30 small pieces. Yeah. It means uh, we create a large amount of work for, for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Another one is this. It's, uh, yes. uh, it's uh, Tells Hill, this project. It's our expert, expert uh, re uh, reception center. Uh, we, we, we built another buildings. Uh, they have, uh, it's very long, more than 130 meters long buildings along the mountain and the river. And you have uh, one big roof with the tails. Yeah, a little bit of people will remember of our another work in Venice Finale, the tails garden. Here, they like the tails garden becomes real building. Mm -hmm. And uh, under this one roof, they have uh, very complex inside building is similar to a village. Yeah, one roof, under the one roof is a village. Incredible rich experience. Uh, of course, we, we also do this something real, real things in the village. Uh, this, we do this uh, Wen Chun uh, renovation between the 2012 to 2016. And, you know, and usually architects, we can't work in the countryside. But now more and more architects go, go into the village. But usually they do some uh, coffee bar, uh, gallery, <laughs> something like this. Yeah, but few architects really design or build some building for the farmer's housing. Yeah, this pro project is a special, it's, a, it's a, everyone is a farmer's housing. Yeah, we want really fast too. The problem about the social reality, social problem. For example, all the new farmer house in the village, they abandoned the courtyard. Originally, every Chinese house, it has courtyard inside. But, the, but now the new tradition, no courtyard. No courtyard also almost means no Chinese country, no tradition. So we re rebuild this small courtyard system, the new building system, and uh, like to, uh, Sometimes I think maybe we can use the architectural way a little bit influence people's mm -hmm. idea. Uh, yeah. It's our another museum project near Hangzhou. Uh, they also, the huge ones, is about 40,000 square meters. But we also want how, like the huge building, really can mix with the landscape. Sometimes we want that building the people can feel it's almost disappeared. For example, you will find this building when they near the city street, it's very low. It's about six meters height. 
similar to the two floor height, and uh, gradually they become higher and higher. But if you stand it along the street, you just feel it's a very low building. And if you really go into, you'll find it's a landscape and it's similar to a mountain. You go up, go in, go around. Finally, when you go up from the roof to see back to the... Yeah, yeah. So all the city, all the building you will find. Oh, it's huge, something like this. Yeah, it's another one, another museum. We, we finished in the 2018. Uh, it's about one or two floor buildings. Uh, it's also similar to, it's a building, it's also similar to something like a small city or a village. Yeah, it's, 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 it's made the structures like this. And uh, very different, so many different layers, and the people that gradually go in, you'll find they have a rich feeling about the materials and the space inside. We, we get a lot of uh, feeling from a Chinese landscape painting. Yes. <laughs> For example, it's another new museum about uh, three, 30,000 square meters buildings. We also built this uh, like this. It's, uh, every building is different, but this, the basic language is the, is the same. It's about uh, landscape and the buildings about half and a half, something like this. And we, we like the building high density near the city and the keeps the, uh, the, 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 the landscape space, leaves the landscape space like this. Uh, now, we will talk about our new works. Yeah, in, in the pandemic time, in the past three years, we can't go out of China. For us, it, it also means some lucky things. We can stay in our cities, very focused on one project, spend a lot of time on site. It's our just finished this new building as well, the 100,000 square meters, new national archive of uh, publication and culture. And this work, uh, I spent a lot of time Lou spent uh, more time than me <laughs> <laughs> because he's responsible, uh, man responsible for the site control. Yeah, it's a very fast uh, project. We we spend one time about design, and we spend two two years, uh, one year for design and uh, two year about construction. Very fast, but uh, very high quality. I think. To the now is the most high quality work of our studio is this. This is a new, this is a new building like this. And uh, some people visit the building they will find. When the beginning you see the building is very simple. Just means uh, horizontal, uh, one layer after another one, something like this, very simple. If you go in, go to the side, you will find, gradually you will find, it's not simple. It's a simple, but it's not simple. And uh, maybe Lou can start from here. <laughs> oh, I, I can talk about more. <laughs> um, the b basic idea is uh, talk, how to talk, how to do the con conversation to the nature. Yeah, we have a long, long tradition about this. For example, this is a very famous landscape paintings, but uh, we will find the basic way here. What, what about this? Is the landscape is something strange? In fact, it's a, it's a school. You will find this is the school. For me, this is the architecture of our school. And the uh, teacher here and the students here, they have a <laughs> teaching. It's a teaching place, right? It's a teaching place. This is a school for what? For PhD students. <laughs> you will find it's a professor 
Is it students? <laughs> students here. <laughs> they also want the space of the building. And uh, another side you'll find a totally different way, of a different form of architecture, different experience. This means something between uh, artificial and the nature, something like this. Yeah, the people find some place. We can do something like this. So if you don't know the how about the campus architecture, you will find this is the campus. It's the building. It's the architecture. All this painting is not just, just about nature. It's not just, this means something. The people have the, some uh, 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 philosophy or realization about how the people can work, living, teaching in, inside the nature. So when do this work, I think the basically we should talk about where is the boundary of nature between the nature and the artificial man-made things? Where is the boundary? The boundary becomes very important. Yes, when we do this building first, we see the site like this. In China, a lot of I have many places like this. We we dig out from the mountains, but we need the small stone and the two. Uh, to make the concrete. So when the, when the high-rise building in, in the far distance vision, the material come from here. Yeah, so many beautiful mountains be dig out like this. It's then for architects, for us, when we see the site like this, the first feeling is how we can rebuild the boundary between the architecture and the nature. That's our, it's, it's my sketch. Mm. Yeah. It just means uh, something not so huge. We, we control the building not so huge. It's a huge building, in fact. V 100,000 square meters, this means huge. It's so small uh, site, and uh, we do this, but we think about how we can, like the building gradually disappeared and mixed with the nature, the basic idea. Then you will find they have a, Basic way is about the layer, different layer from the south to the north when the people go into, and you can feel the building, landscape again, again, something like this. <coughs> the building be finished, you are fine. The, 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 the sketch become reality. There's different layers, something like this. And very carefully, all the boundaries all this boundary, be very carefully to design. You will find this boundary, you can see. We have a very carefully boundary between the artificial and the nature. And then we want to keep everything, natural things on site. Can't be destroyed. Even one small tree can't be destroyed. Yes, everything should keep on the site. How we can do that? So huge buildings. We, we, how we, 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 we can deal with this, these things? For example, this is a boundary. This is a mountain. This is a stone mountain. We, we, we design this system, like the building very near the nature, but still keep the difference, keep the separate. And the people, when the people walk, you can see the mountain, but you can touch, you can't touch. Uh, something like this, because this building will be open to the public people now. Every day, more than uh, 5,000 visitors will come to here. A lot of people, so we should very carefully control the boundary. <coughs> for example, they also I also designed this boundary for the city street, like this. <laughs> when the first the, mount the, the nature mountain. Uh, and fast to the city, the different things, we have different way. <coughs> Another thing is about the density. In fact, high density for China is a tradition. The people have the high density, building have the high density. When they face to the nature, we also have the high density. The art building mixed with the nature and they have some of the basic model. For example, all these 
our new building, we use this basic model. We will find they have a different parts. The part in the front and the part at the back. The part on the down and the part on the up. They have a different meaning. In, 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 in this, uh, uh, this part, you will find is the lake, is the water. They have a pavilion. They have a scholar sinking here, something like this. It's the basic model. And the art part is a very high density, dramatic structure here. It's a very beautiful painting collected in the mat. Yeah, it's very famous um, called the river bank, this, this painting. And then you will find our building also used this basic model. But another side, usually, when I talk about here, it's a reality that people can be directed to see. And this part is some different things, more similar to some uh, philosophy, similar to something like the secret, something view from a distance, like this. It's a diff totally different feeling. So you can find we have uh, this part, they have water, they have pavilion, they have pavilion, and uh, and our part we have uh, very dramatic structures and uh, the storage about the books, publications is in here. And they also designed a very, something similar to the garden system, floating on the art space. It means the ex exhibition open to the public people. We control a very special system to separate the storage space and the exhibition space. Because usually, this part can open to the public. This part should be closed because it's a storage space. But we designed this new system like the public space floating on the <laughs> second floor and the people can go around. They can see oh, every corner about this landscape architecture, but finally they can go down to here. The entrance, usually the public entrance from this part and go into and go up, go around. Finally, they go down here and see the landscape. The basic logic, like this. Like and a fire. Yeah, similar to a Chinese garden. It's a new garden. Now well, fine. It's the entrance. It's not for mm -hmm. uh, public people. It's the entrance for the <laughs> traditional ceremony, uh, something like this. But the real entrance is here directly go in. This is the garden. garden. Uh, it's also the garden, but a different garden. Yeah, it's a very relaxed garden. It's a high density garden. It's different. <coughs> of course, it's not easy, you know. It's a national project. In China, when something talk about it's a national, it means something, it's a trouble. <laughs> it's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> so, for example, this, we designed a small pavilion uh, mm -hmm. on the hills. We designed so many different tasks. Why? Because very difficult to let the, our client <laughs> to <laughs> agree our <laughs> crazy idea. So we, we, we just taste the, 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 the client. But finally, we, 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 we get, which one is the last one? Now, this is the last <laughs> one. <laughs> From the beginning <laughs> to the last one. <laughs> we struggled. <laughs> uh, this is our basic feeling. We want when the people from the, from the gate, from this vision, you are fine. The building is not so big. They all, all this building been made a little bit di disappeared from the landscape, that's a bad feeling. In fact, the building is huge. Mm -hmm. So we want to give the peeping people's best feeling like this. I think maybe Gu can start from here. No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, and another side, when, when we talk about the gardens, for the, for, for, for the Chinese tradition, on top of the garden, we talk about landscape paintings. Yeah, we need some uh, spatial uh, uh, 
man pig. It's similar to a movie. You you need uh, you need you need a star. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, something like this. For for the gardens, we also need some uh, center things. It's for when the first time I come to the site, I see this uh, uh, pig. I find out. Yeah, I can do that because we have this pig. It's very important things. It means um, some uh, beautiful story. This can start. Yeah, if you if you have a uh, uh, knowledge about the art history, you will find something similar to each other. It's very famous painting, Chinese landscape painting, thousand years ago, and they have uh, this uh, this pig, a little bit similar to this one. You will find, right? And uh, it's, it's, it's very special things. It's very high pig, maybe thousand years, a thousand meters high, very high. But usually the people, our real reality vision is about this part, this lower part, the real. You can see that, and this part usually you can't see. It's in the far distance. It's in. It's it's a. This this feeling is totally. Uh, Real. In fact, the Chinese when they, when they when they join this, it's most similar to some uh, philosophy uh, discussion. How you can let the far distant thing come to your eyes, and how you can let the near things and the distant things can it can coexist on one painting, something like this. Yes. So for me, if I have this pig in a far distance, so the basic things. How we design this part, this lower part, this architect's work, and how you can create this air layer here. You can create a lot of air here. How you can let the people feel between this small part and this far distant peak is something uh, no form, and most similar to some uh, atmosphere, air, something like this. Yes, it's a uh, finish when the building be finished. So my client is very interesting. He tell me, and uh, when I, well, when they agree our uh, uh, design, in fact, uh, they still have some. Uh, they worry about the the, the 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 future, because they can't imagine how you can let uh, this uh, uh, small ugly. Hills become this, become this uh, painting. painting. Yeah, they they can't, they 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 uh -huh. can't imagination this. What, how you can do that? And uh, finally, when they finish the building, yeah, they tell me, we really touch this. Yeah, they, the people feel it's become true. So not very easy to talk about this, but uh, if they really want. Get this feeling. Come to site. Come to Hangzhou to to visit the building on site. Another things you can see. This is a real hill, small hill. Yeah. Like yeah. Like How we can uh, build these large scale buildings um, with the nature together? We have two. That is a high density mixed <laughs> together. So we, especially for example, this building, this building inside okay. is have a hill. Yeah. We directly build the building. Uh, with the hills together, you can see this is a real hill. It's not the fake. It's not artificial. It's real. Yeah, with this, we building this. In fact, the most similar to the traditional pavilion, mm -hmm. but here become some new things. It's a pavilion, but it's not similar to the traditional pavilion. You will also have some uh, column like this. Yeah, because we show like the column. Uh, to uh, sometimes they show uh, when they meet the monk, the hills, the, 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 the hills, they should move. When they meet the root, <laughs> they should move. So finally, they become something like this. Yeah. Because it's uh, very difficult is when, when, uh, when we do the design, 
suddenly we get the news very near our site. They have a, a UNESCO <laughs> uh, historic heritage. It's just become a heritage. So it means old is our building have been controlled at below the 50 minute, me, meters below. So that's a, it, it's a, for, for us, it's a, in fact, it's a good news. We can like more easily like the plan understand what I was thinking. It's the entrance, when they go in, you will find very near, you meet to the hills because our, our, our site is a small. Then you will find they have a, there's always a boundary. It's just beside the hills. The very complex system yeah. about this. Uh, yeah, it's a boundary between the nature and uh, our building. And uh, they have many different vision to see. It's similar to the painting, uh, the vision like this. You create many different vision. More similar to the painting. It's the main building like this. Uh, it's a, uh, we call this main reading room. In fact, it's uh, have a different function. They can do the exhibition, have the meeting, have the lecture, and uh, they can do the cocktail, and a big dinner, <laughs> many different way. And uh, you, you will find they have a beautiful material on, on the facade. It's uh, we create a new way about Chinese ceramic, local ceramic. Very beautiful ceramic. We also s talk about how to build a new system, how to control the temperature in the very hot area. Because we have a lot of running, how to use the architectural way to protect the building, how to control the speed of the wind inside the building, because we don't want to use too many air conditioning systems and how to we can control the sound, like the sound become more soft. So we, we directly use architecture way. We, don't, we, we almost don't use the any uh, interior decoration. Yeah, all, every way is about architecture. It's our basic thinking is every detail you'll find is architecture way because now all over the China, architecture become, a, <laughs> a, in fact, decoration. Yeah, this means uh, you, ca you can design very rough, construct very fast. Then you can have an out outside decoration system. Then you have an inside decoration system. This means the architect become interior designer. Something like this. It's very uh, incredible <laughs> things. <laughs> So <laughs> that's why we should insist. We, we should insist that thinking, what's the architect's work? What's the meaning about the architecture? That's the basic, I think, is basic uh, uh, thinking for architects. Yeah. For example, all these doors, it can be open, it's a, it can be closed, because this all be controlled by the computer, and also it, it it's also can be controlled by hand. Yes, when the, we have the big running, for example, telephone time, we can close these buildings. And when they have, we need a wind, we open the, the doors. So this means all the, every building, they have a sec two layer uh, facade. One sub, for example, this main reading room, the first start is, is the ceramic doors. The second facade is the rampers. They have a two different layers. And uh, they have a uh, uh, very, uh, they have many, this uh, system they call the corridor. In China, for the traditional building in South China, the corridor is very important element. It's, it just means the space, about layers. It also means uh, uh, the, the space you can fill the, some uh, uh, outside, inside, uh, building some uh, very typical Chinese uh, life type we are, we are found in this area. So this is why in our studio, almost all after our work, we have we have focused on this system. 
and uh, uh, similar to the landscape painting, you are fine. Every we be we very carefully to 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 design from a one building to see another one. This means uh, every one become the building become another one, another building's painting. Yeah, you can see the 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 very carefully layers. Of course, high density, high density with the natural things. Yeah, we can find this way in our village. They also can find this way in our buildings. So the high density part looks like this. Sometimes like this, it's a Chinese garden, very famous. But now, originally it have one or two scholar on the hills, more than a lot of public people. It seems to different things, but it still means high density. Chinese, we like this feeling. We have to like this feeling. This, this means high density. Yeah, high density. Yeah, high density. Yeah, high no. I don't know. Uh, in 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 the when when they go into the most deep corner, you will find a small pavilion here. It's very, I think it's very beautiful. It's, uh, and you can find the beautiful reflection of the waters. It's incredible, even oh. you really on site, you will find it's oh. incredible things. Of course, we, 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 we created a new system about uh, more poetic dialogue between the architecture and the nature. This painting about our city, Hangzhou, thousand years ago. Um, it's not just means landscape painting. It's, it means when you see the basic painting uh, I just talked about, oh, the city disappeared. They totally mixed with nature. How they can do that? When they really go into the city, you will find every corner like this. There's a thousand corner like this. Finally, they co composed together, become incredible. Beautiful city like this. It's very high density. What meaning? Every this painting is just a very near coexist together. This means that every corner, every corner, again, again, repeat. And, the, and you will find what the best way architecture, nature, uh, architecture, nature, and architecture, nature. This means half and half, 50% and 50%. Yeah. When you have 2,000 corner like this, 10,000 corner like this, something happened. So it's a city structure. It's not just mean landscape painting. Yeah, that's our way, similar to this, you can find. Nature, buildings, nature, buildings. It's, it's another uh, uh, very beautiful painting, also about 1,000 years ago. It's a dinner uh, 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 inside the emperor gardens. You will find it's in the night, and uh, the building, all the facade gates opened, then become something open to the nature, as it become a huge pavilion. Now we have a beautiful dinner in this space. And yeah, it's our pavilion. When all the doors open, you will find it's something like this. From one building, one pavilion to see another one pavilion. From the down pavilion to see art pavilion. They have this way, like this. You will find this also, we have this uh, uh, relation in the paintings, thousand years ago. I think this painting also collect in some museum in the US, this, this one. Mm. You will find the building with the nature. Very near, yeah, you can find. They have a very near relation. In fact, it's not easy. When a huge uh, modern construction happened, when you build a building near the nature, so near each other, it means you, have a very, you should have a very good control about sight, about the imagination of the uh, uh, construction uh, process. 
it's a loose job. They do the wonderful job. They become a, a very angry people on the site <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful uh, relation from a one layer to another one. So when you really go into this building, you'll find so many tabs, something repeat, but every time it's different, uh, a little bit of difference. So what, in, what, about, what, what meaning about beauty? How do people think about something is beauty? I, 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 I prefer the mm, discussion from uh, one French. Uh, uh, he talked about uh, 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 Levi Strauss. Yeah, he's a philosopher. It's a, he talked about the, the beauty means you know the difference between something very similar to each other. You very clearly know what's the difference. It's the basic, it's the base about you know something is beautiful. <coughs> so finally the building be composed together as well as the distant and the near, up and the up. The feeling like this. Oh, no. You finish? No. <laughs> It's a loose part for your staff. <laughs> our system of a natural construction and uh, control of a construction process. You can what, start. What makes so you like a face? I think Lou needs uh, a translator. <laughs> Who can do the translator for, <laughs> <laughs> for Lou? <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we need a uh, volunteer. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, hi, I don't think this works. Uh, it's on? Can you hear me? I'm completely caught up on, on site, so I have no idea uh, if I'm going to be able to do the job, but bear with me. <laughs> okay, do continue. Oh, she was saying she's a little bit nervous because she uh, rarely do any English lectures, but today people demand that she talks about something. So, so I today is mainly talking about the project of some special materials and systems. So today she's going to talk about some um, special construction processes and materials in this project. Okay, uh, first she's going to talk about the ceramic. The turquoise ceramic that you can see here is a very special material. Uh, it, it exists a thousand years ago in Song Dynasty. Uh, but it's mostly used in uh, for example, bowls and uh, teacups, things like that. And you can see a lot of uh, such kind of ceramic um, uh, teawares and things in museums. Uh, but it has never been adapted in architecture. All of this material is purely made by hand. Uh, uh, they use like uh, some somewhat eighty thousand tiles in this project. Um, and they were purely developed for this project. 
，呃，你们看到的这个绿色的每一片，因为它是手工的，所以呃，釉也是手工上去的，嗯，八万片没有一片是一样的。Because they're all purely handmade, so all the eighty thousand tiles they're all different from each other. So this material in the scene is very beautiful. So the material looks really beautiful on site because it's living. Uh, because uh, this blue is not for everyone to do. We found that the artist in Longquan found many yarns. Finally, there were three yarns. 它所制作出来的那个颜色色彩，是我们就是希望可以呃想要的那个颜色。呃、uh, ，Not everyone can really produce such tiles, and they、uh, search everywhere in Longquan,、uh, the town, and they found three artisans who can produce the color that they want. 因为那个釉色，呃，每一个就是每一个这个师傅。都是他们家里的秘密，他不会告诉别人。Because the production processes is a family secret for the artisans, so they don't tell others. 呃，如果是他这个这个这个这个呃，就是工匠师傅，如果他消失了，那么他的那个家里的就是他的那个釉也会不存在了。So if the artisan passes, uh, and This technique has not been passed along, then it's、uh, got lost. Uh, so we this project is very special. Three masters, that is master, they each one in this project completed in one month, so he became a real artist. He actually became a real artist. Real artist. Uh, so a peculiarity about this project is one of the three master artisans actually passed away one month before the finishes. So this is really a last piece that's very unique. 是这里面的那个最漂亮的那个绿色的釉就是他烧的。And that artisan produces the most beautiful ceramic,、um, as they think in here. 呃，所以我我想说就是传统的手艺，如果我们不，马上去用它，它很可能很快就没有了。So she wants to say that traditional techniques, if we don't continue to use them, they might not continue to exist. 呃，但是传统的手艺我们没有办法直接去用，所以在每一个项目里，我们都是需要创造一个呃新的做法和现代的新的技术结合，去用在新的建筑上。Actually, they cannot directly use the traditional techniques. So in each project, they create some way to really melange it with some kinds of modern technique. Ah, this is when we were thinking of using this in the process of making the tiles. Actually, our owner, and even the staff, is very difficult to accept such a new thing. They, even the architects in the construction process, told us that this is not possible to achieve. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. So their clients, their、uh, contractors, and also their collaborating firms, they actually resist using this because it's so new. Uh, so we just in our own experiments, we use one by one the model. We do some experiments to tell them that this is possible. So they actually experimented on this technique in their own office, their own studios. And do mock-up one-to-one scale,、um, uh, as you can see here, models to demonstrate to their partners that this is actually feasible. This photo in the is the first time we have made it, and the result of the experiment is a little different. So what you can see here in this photo is the first time that they realized this in the, the studio, and it's actually very different from what eventually you see here on site for the project. 呃，这个是我们使用了真的材料在现场做的一比一的实验，这个基本上已经成功了。This is they use the real materials on site and did the mock-up experiment on site and it was successful. 呃，这个是我们在这个项目里使用的呃第二种就是比较特殊的材料是夯土。This is the second special material that they use in this project. It's ramures. 
呃，其实这个夯土的材料，我们在过去十年当中，在不同的项目里或多或少都使用过。They actually have used this material to run the earth in past project in the oh, past. Oh, years. Uh, <laughs> Professor Zhuang was saying actually twenty years. Um, but this project of the use is very special. It is because this is a national, that is a state project. They can use this material to run the earth in the past project 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 in the Special here because it's a national project and it's very difficult and very rare for them to accept the use of a like complete natural material. 而且呃呃，他们的这个呃施工的这个队伍，因为是第一次接触这个材料，并不是我们以前的项目中他们已经使用过材料会做的这支队伍来实施。And uh, their co contractors, they have already um, tried on. 招招标嘛。对，呃，因为他是要经过一些招投标的这个队伍，我们不知道会是谁会来做这个实施。Oh, okay. <笑> um, 所以他们是是项目那边对他们选来的，甲方选来的。Because uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess most of you have already <laughs> understand. So uh, just for them who um, don't speak Mandarin, so they were saying that actually the contractor they were hired by the client, so they don't know like who are gonna be their contractor. So it's very special for them. Ah, but it's okay. But it's okay. Because it's okay. Because we are teachers. So they are teachers. 所以每一支呃做这个夯土的这个实施的队伍，其实我们都去先教他们。So for each contractors who do the run earth technique, they actually teach them the technique first. 呃，这个是我们实验室里的老师在现场指导这个施工的呃队伍，教他们怎么去做夯土。Uh, this is people from their studio and teaching the contractors on site how to construct a renders wall. Uh, this is on the construction site, as you can see. Ah, also very special because this project was the time uh, it's the time of hunt is the most difficult time. This is in the summer. Normal hunt is required in the summer. It's also very special because the construction time was actually the worst time for round earth wall because it was winter. Usually they do round earth wall in summer. So our science teacher came up with a way to get them to wear a mask. So um, people from their studio were creative that they um, made them wear the coats here. 给他们制造一个小的温度环境。So they create a, a small climate for the temperature. 这是实施完成之后。And this is after construction. 呃，这个这次的这个质量是非常好的，就比以往我们做的项目。哦，我我想可能是施工单位认为这是一个。国家的项目，所以他们做的特别认真。<laughs> the quality of this construction was actually really good. It's uh, the top quality compared to their past project, and they think maybe because it's a national project, so they were peculiar, uh, particularly serious about this construction. 呃，我我想多说一句，这个夯土的材料，因为我们使用的夯土是没有给它做任何的添加剂，它是纯天然的。Uh, and she wants to specially mention that in the ramp earth wall, they didn't put any additional materials. It's all natural. So, every day when the house is not wanted, it can be completely returned to the land. So, when some day if we don't want this architecture, it can completely return to earth. In the scene, because many people don't know this is hung tu, they thought it was a green stone tu. Uh, on site, because many people don't know that this is round earth, and they thought this is just yellow concrete. This is in the entrance to the public. We also used the natural rubble. Uh, uh, this is uh, in the This is at the public entrance. They also used the natural round earth. Can you see? This. 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 This.
是它的施工，就是土建施工的完成面，就是我们的装修完成面，它是完全不做装修的。Uh, as Professor Wang has addressed, um, actually this is the, the, the veneer that resulted from their architecture project. There's no like, extra interior decoration. This is the interior, as you can see. This is the interior, as you can see. 完全是按照这个真实的建造逻辑建造和表达的。They're all according to a real architectural logic and represented that way. 这个可以近距离的看一下。This is some close-ups. 呃，混凝土、夯土、青瓷，在不同的材料在一起，真实的衔接。There's concrete and round earth, and then the tiles, and they are co-presented here in a very precise way. Because different materials in their connection process, if they are not precisely controlled, it is very difficult. So, because the boundaries between different materials, if you cannot control precisely, it's actually very difficult. So, I work a large part of the work in the scene. 不断的和这个现场的施工的呃人员和设计人员强调，它不同材料要如何衔接，所以它每一个衔接都是有呃，就是这个 detail 的设计。So she spent she spends lots of effort and time on site to coordinate with um the workers and contractors about the details and drawings about how the the different materials contact each other. 呃，这个项目里面其实还用了一个呃木质的材料。There's also a wooden construction in this project. 呃，它也是一个纯结构的使用的材料，因为很多人他们会以为这是装饰，其实它不是装饰，它是受力的。And this is also pure structural because many people thought this might be ornamental, but actually, uh, they bear real uh force. 呃，这张照片是当时我们用这个就是南大门的入口做这个 mock-up 的第一组实验，可以看到。This is the experiment, the first experiment that they did here at、uh, the Southern Gate. 这张照片刚才看到了，这是完成之后的。Uh, this is photo you have already seen. This is after they have completed. 呃，这个其实是这这这个建筑里面最重要的一个呃，就是最大的这个房子有一百多米长长，我们的跨度是三十米，用这个纯粹的这这个是钢木混合的结构，完全没有柱，所以这个是也是第一次这样做实验。Uh, this is the largest volume in this complex, and it's a hundred meter by thirty meter, uh, with no columns, as you can see, uh, and it's all pure wood uh, mixed with steel. It's the first experiment that they have done with this. This is the experiment of the pavilions that's uh, all wooden. 它的结构也是全新的，但是是来自我们浙南的廊桥结构去转化的。呃，是是是,是结构还是木头结构材料结构结构、okay. 整个结构。呃、uh, ，so the structure is new, but it was adopted from southern 浙呃、uh, southern 可以这个 province。<笑>这个是在呃这个项目里面最大的这个呃亭子，是使用了钢木混合的结构，因为中国的这个现现有的这个呃法规是不允许我用纯的这个木结构去做这样的一个建筑。This is the largest pavilion on site, and it's a mixed structure with wood and steel because according to current Chinese regulation, it's not possible to do pure wood. 它没有那个计算书可以提供，所以我必须用钢结构的计算书去做。计算书就是一个太复杂不说了，算了。<笑>呃，这是这个项目里用的第三种这个钢木结构的类型。This is the third uh mixed wooden steel structure in this project. 嗯。
这个你翻得出来吗？这叫叠木结构。哦、oh, ，OK。叠。This is um roughly translated as stacking wood structure. 呃，这个是这个施工的现场的照片。And this is photo of、uh, the on-site construction. 呃，不要看这个小的这个叠木结构的一个小 pavilion， 呃，它是整个十万平方米的项目里最难的。哦，嗯 ，even though this is a very small pavilion, it's actually the most difficult part in this whole complex. 呃，因为木头它会有温度、呃湿度，它都会有变形。呃，我们在这个木头。上，等一下可以看到，是因为做的是无框的玻璃，一旦变形，它就会玻璃炸裂。Because wood has distortions because of temperature and humidity, and they have, as you can see here, here、uh, the glass structure without frame. So if there's distortion from the wood, then the the, the glass would、uh, would explode and、uh, break. 呃、uh, ，所以这个小 pavilion 是在整个项目已经全部完成的情况下，大概是在开馆前一个月才把这个玻璃做上去。呃、uh, ，so uh this pavilion was not finished, especially the glass part, until one month before the whole complex opened. 因为呃， uh, 要这个玻璃的制作需要把整个的。木头变形的那个数据要做在这个里，提前做在玻璃的变形里面应力。嗯。Because they have to test on the wooden distortion and then put that in into consideration of the construction of the glass part. 呃，这是另外一个在这个项目里特殊的材料是使用了这个青铜。Uh, this is another、uh, special material that I have used in this project, and it's bronze. Uh, because this is what we built on the wooden floor. We built a very big stone wall. This is they use this very large bronze tile on the roof. Uh, this is in the stone wall on the roof. This is the first experiment on site for the construction. This is the first experiment on site for the construction. 因为很多到过现场的人就会问，他说：“你们这个屋顶的排水是怎么做的？”所以这里可以看到，我们是坐在这个瓦下面的暗排水。呃、uh, ，because many people who have been to site were very curious about how to deal with water, and you can see that here, the water channel. 可以看一下这个安装的现场。Another photo of the site when they install the tiles. 这个是青铜瓦完成之后，因为这个铜也是一个活的材料。呃、uh, ，this is after they have completed the tiles and the the bronze is also a living material。所以它在自然过程当中，风吹日晒雨淋，它会每天都在变化。So it changes according to the weathering day by day。呃，最大的好处，它是，呃，因为金属的材料。呃，它它基本上不用做太多的维护，所以它在使用以后的成本就会很低。And one of the good benefit is because it's metal, so actually the maintenance is very low, so the the cost is very low also after when it's in use. 呃，我们后面看几张这个项目的时间线，这是在二零二零年六月的场地，还是这个样子。Now we'll see some photos of、uh, the project through time, and now this is uh 2020 in June, as you can see. 这是在半年以后 After half a year, 地下室地下室已经做好了 When they have finished with the basement construction. 这几张照片可以看一下这个中国的建设速度 And through these photos, you can see the speed of Chinese construction. 这是二零二一年三月。This is from 2021 March. This is 二一年五月，基本上主体建筑已经出地面了。In May, we can see the main part of the architecture is actually extruded already. 这是十月。In October. 这是二二年一月，基本封顶了。Then 22 or January when the roof construction is almost finished. 这是二二年的四月，几乎已经快要完成了。
2022 April almost completely finished. 呃，应该大家也注意到，所有的这个实施过程都是在 pandemic 的期间。And you can also notice that all the construction was during pandemic. 就是完成以后，我们可以从嗯、呃、这个这个叫什么 bird view 鸟看鸟看，可以看一下，我们把两个原来两个矿坑。补好之后，整个建筑和自然之间的关系。And this is a bird's eye view, as you can see the overall relationships between the architecture and nature. 我们希望我们的建筑是可以和自然共存的。We hope our architecture co coexists with nature. 所以，呃，最后总结一下。Final conclusion. 呃，我们希望就是我们做的这个建筑。是以自然建造的方式去修复自然，用一种特殊的视野。I can just read this part.、Uh, so they want to restore nature in a naturally built way requires a special kinds of vision. 谢谢。谢谢你。Well, amazing, <laughs> fantastic lecture. I, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be many questions, so start preparing your questions.、Uh, but before we open it to the audience, I, I, I want to. I mean, I was fascinated by the lecture, especially also、uh, the way you perform it. As yeah, it was kind of a performance in a way. I love the way that that the first part of the lecture actually was、uh, more about the. The 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 restoration of the、uh, of 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 the relationship between, I would say, human culture, life making, and and more than human forms of life and and existence. This coexistence work、uh, through the boundaries, right? Like one、uh, was explained, and then the second part was sort of explaining the same at a very different scale, at the scale of the material and how the the even the construction processes were. Uh, uh, address in in the case of loose part of the presentation, I want to、uh, go back to these two scales in which you operate. It seems that the there's each of them has a very particular,、uh, let's say, strategy. In at the level of the materiality, it's、uh, I love this idea that architecture needs to to retake the the terrain of the in between. Uh, and claim its、uh, capacity to go beyond this idea of the,、uh, I would say, interiorism and exteriorism, to 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 see how it operates through construction, through structures, through the through labor,、uh, through the cultures of that, and it seems to be a reflection at the scale of the building in its encounter with its surroundings.、Uh, I, I want to to you to articulate a little bit more、uh, how you you work. Bringing consistency to these two very different scales in which you put the same project, this reparation of the human and the more than human. He didn't hear the question. The last question was not completely clear. Sorry, my English heard not so good. 人和非人。啊 ，I think the basically， 啊，哦 ，our way is more influenced by the， 呃 ，for example Chinese garden。Yeah. Yeah. What meaning about the garden? The garden is meaning not just means the beautiful landscape. For the Chinese tradition, when the people want to live in a garden, it means they don't like reality. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it it have an attitude about this world. That's first. The second, the garden usually means you you should let the people go around in the garden. Every corner the people can go, can rest. This means、uh, when you design the architecture, it's a、uh, Every corner, you should like think about the people can go.、Yeah. Not some somewhere the people can somewhere don't want people. No, it's everywhere the people can go. The third thing I think is basic attitudes 
this architecture is the not something most similar to some monumental things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a monumental is a very strong tradition in Europe, in even in China. <laughs> mm -hmm. We also have this strong tradition about the monumental. But uh, garden is means something opposite to yeah. the monumental. So every our building is not uh, on monumental things. It's something it's the uh, opposite, uh, dif different, totally different way mm -hmm. than. And uh, the, I th the first thing is so very sensitive when when the building will touch the nature. You yeah. so have this very very sensitive feeling. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes I'm, I, 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 I even want our building finally will become some system. We don't need a base. We collect the building just yep. to put on the ground, not to destroy the ground. Yep. We we weren't looking for some way like this, mm -hmm. but now we 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 still <laughs> have to re relate on this uh, modern system, and but uh, gradually we want. Uh, uh, like the more and more natural system mixed with uh, this modern construction system. Yeah, it's our dream. It's still yeah. on the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 人的身体是会对自然的材料天然的会亲近 So in the construction process, they have used lots of natural material. Actually, human body, it would have this uh, inclination towards uh, some kind of intimacy with such kind of materials. 因为你的身体的感受,它是非常直接的,它 他对人的这种影响，他他没有办法去去欺骗人，他喜欢就是喜欢，不喜欢就是不喜欢。Because your bodily sensation is very direct, uh, they cannot lie. If you like, you like. If you don't like, you don't like. 啊，我举个例子，比如说有一次这个西子啊，就是到我们学校去呃去看他自己的那个项目的时候，因为他睡觉就睡在我们的那个。刚才他放过的夯土的房子里，他说那那一次他睡得特别好，他说我从来没有睡得这么舒服的一次，就那个房间，因为它是土的，天然的。One example, our Lord Caesar has visited the campus to see his own building that was realized on campus, and he just lived in the Russian guest house that they show that was on the campus, and he says that he slept very well because it was a building made with round earth. 所以天然的材料它是有这种温度的,它是活的。So natural material has a temperature and it's living. 我相信人更喜欢这样的活的东西。And she believes that people, human, like living things more. Why not the urban? In a way, your architecture, the references that you're using are references. I mean, you started your lecture with the uh, narration of what the urban has ex experienced in the last 30 years in China, the the exponential growth of uh, cities and, uh, but in a way your architecture is somehow distancing from those processes uh, and finding, I mean, it was very beautiful the way that uh, you were using one uh, images coming from, from traditional of the history of, of Chinese painting uh, and the way architecture was reflected as part of larger landscape systems. But I wonder why it's uh, those systems are somehow making a distinction between systems that operate as more than human life or landscape and systems that we would consider infrastructural or societal or, or, or uh, related to the, the making of the city?
uh, in fact, is uh, I just talk about the boundary. Boundary not just means the boundary with the nature. Boundary <laughs> also means with the infrastructure, with the city, mm -hmm. uh, it's your real surroundings. So uh, usually uh, we want to, uh, in fact, we rebuild the city system. In mm -hmm. fact, I don't think in China now the urban planning system is means they, they really make the city. They, they make the surf, you know. It's, it's, it's a very funny story. You will find that you use the very wide road and the, for the cars and the high rise building, every every uh, housing project have the wall around it means when they every every project be finished, the developer project, it means that one part of the city disappeared. Mm -hmm. It's not a city city distance. Yeah. So you 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 will see all, every our buildings, our project they build the system is one part of the city yeah. system. It's a big building that you can go around the inside, yeah, similar to the small street square, and uh, 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 even similar to some hutong system, and uh, it's something like this. It's, it's, it's a very complex inside space. It means a city. Yep. And another side, we, sh we want to combine the natural city with it together. It's a Chinese way. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the uh, landscape landscape part is not just means a, a vision. In fact, in Chinese, the garden it, is also need the people go in. Yep. It's different from the Jap Japanese way. Usually, Japanese garden is just most similar to a painting. You sit here, see the garden. You can't go in. It's the Japanese. But the Chinese way is the people go in, go up, go down, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like this. Yeah, it's, it's totally similar to the city structure. It just mm -hmm. means a different way about uh, something between mm -hmm. uh, city and the nature. It's something like this. Mm -hmm. So that's why we talk about we can combine the two parts together. Yeah. It's, it, it means we repair the city. When the people use the large construction, infrastructure, destroy one part of the city, we think about maybe we can use some uh, spatial architecture way to yeah. repair. Yeah, that's, that's about what yeah. our effort. Yeah. yeah. You want to add something? Lou? Yeah, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we, we can uh, open to the audience. Okay. There's many questions, one here, one there, one there. So let's, uh, one there, one. Okay, many, many questions. Let's start here. <laughs> But honestly, uh, our culture also has some downsides, like sometimes can be kind of conservative. Uh, how do you choose to interrogate or omit traditional culture in your works uh, in order to avoid just a mere replication of traditional buildings? Uh, let me translate. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> 增强文化自信, strengthen the cultural confidence. But, 但是, 但是我们的文化中也有一些不好的地方, 有的时候可能会有点保守或者怎么样, <笑> <笑>因为我可以说中文第一我们是绝对不做就是复古的如果这样你就我会拒绝这个项目 uh, so every time when they build a project, they would tell their clients that first they don't do some traditionalist revival. Uh, we don't do traditional 
、呃，但是一定是用创新的方式重新去展现它的。They build on some kinds of cultural nutrition on the traditional materials, but they approach it in a creative way. 你补充。In fact, it's very simple. You will say, "Oh, our project, it, it's a more large scale than the traditional thing." Mm. So it means you not you can't directly copy traditional building. You have to do the some uh, transformation and the recreation. But but another side, we 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 uh, continue to think about uh, what's the real meaning of a Chinese traditional system. For example, you will see even in the village, you can see the building. They use the natural materials. They use uh, some uh, uh, <laughs> pre prefabricated system. Yeah, it's most very similar to the modern uh, industrial system. And they use the building is a very light structure system. Uh, the even no base. All the Chinese traditional building, in fact, no base. Mm. They just put down the ground. Yeah. So it means they don't destroy the base, they mm. destroy the ground, destroy the earth. Mm. And uh, they, 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 they build a system they can control the climate and the temperature by the architectural way. The walls and the doors, something like this. They open and close. And they also uh, can use the small pieces of material. It means even the very uh, poor people they also can build some uh, beautiful system, beautiful small buildings. Yeah, so uh, this means what? This means sustainable. Mm. This yeah. means something we want, to, we want to build in the future. So sometimes when we talk about Chinese traditional things, we use the words, for, for example, modern and the traditional. It's not right. Because it's a China, it's now the Western world. It's mm. All this con concept come from the Western world. In China, it mean, just means totally different way. Mm. So when you think about in that vision, something changed. Mm. There's another one there. Let's take two questions because we <laughs> were kind of late. So your question, and then uh, there was one here, right there, and then we'll go back to the other three. Okay. Hi, Professor Wayne and uh, Lu. Um, do you prefer me to speak in Chinese or English? What? Oh, both? OK. Uh, <laughs> OK, um, so I would like to ask, like, when you are de dealing with the fusion of horizons, um, how did you reconsider the Western, the Le Corbusier's, like, um, concepts about form, function, or etc. in the traditional Chinese uh, context. Uh, 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 Let's take the other question, and if you don't mind, if we, uh, yeah. Well, thank you for your amazing lecture. I'm just wondering to utilize a more traditional material, but you need to use more uh, complicated building systems, such as the round earth, as well as the ceramics. I'm just wondering, how do you balance the beauty or looking back at the tradition of the buildings, as well as building efficiency and simplicity? Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> in fact, we, in the past uh, 20 years, in fact, is, uh, more, more than 20 years, for example, we, we started to use the rampers in the 2000s. It's the first piece we use the rampers. And uh, gradually, we, uh, we find uh, 
is important is when they talk about how you can uh, lack the tradition a lift. For example, the natural material system can a lift. That's mean the usual can lack the craftsmanship uh, system a lift. That means when you when they talk about design, new architectural design, you should give the enough uh, uh, opportunity for the craftsmanship. So you should design some uh, double system. Yeah, how you can like this system with the modern system combine together? This is our basic approach. That's about that. It's a, it means uh, experience when when you just start from design, you just think about uh, material construction way. And that just means start from the form or concept. Yeah, form, concept is important, but very important things, when the first step, you should think about materials. How you are thinking about the material and construction process, this is the basic thing. In fact, for the traditional system, also like this. For example, the old Chinese building is a wood, Wood structure is a majority structure, so the carpenter is uh, similar to the architect. Yeah, and for the carpenter, the first stage things is the material. He should show know what kind of materials he can use. Yeah, so it's the basic. I think it's the basic uh, 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 feeling uh, mm -hmm. about uh, this this kind of architect architecture. It's你忘掉？啊，我我我回答他的问题。呃，因为现代的这个技术发展到今天，我们已经不可能完全按照传统的东西去做了。呃，she was saying to some respond to his question. Uh, she was saying like um the technology has developed to nowadays that we actually cannot uh use the the ways in the past to build. 而且现在的这个今天的很多技术其实是受西方的这个影响也会比较大的。And many techniques they were very influenced by the West. 呃，所以我们其实每一个项目做的过程当中都是去积极的对话。So in each project, they actively try to create a dialogue. 它不可能是完全按照传统的技术去做，但是我也不能丢掉传统。cannot be completely according to tradition, but it's also not abandoning tradition. Uh, very interesting is uh, in the very beginning of a modern architecture, when the new architecture language emerged, you are fine. For example, Le Corbusier, mm. he's, he's very similar to a Chinese architect, <laughs> in fact, yeah. I think. All his buildings similar to a garden, they have a <laughs> winding uh, system, you can walk in, something yeah. like this. Uh, so, so but the, the way it's different, but the basic idea, uh, because he have experience in the uh, uh, Mediterranean uh, area, visits uh, some old uh, Middle East city, something similar, similar system, I think, about uh, high density, as about the uh, surprise, I've written so many surprises, one after another one, something like this. It's the luxury. Yeah. Another one, I think, for example, Miss Vandro, is also sometimes mm -hmm. where I can think he's more similar to a Chinese architect. <laughs> Be yeah, <laughs> because I, I read a book. I think maybe it's true. When he designed the Barcelona Pavilion, he sometimes he read the, the <laughs> book about the uh, Chinese garden in Suzhou. Oh. Yeah, so he used a very thin column mm -hmm. that come from the Suzhou. The Chinese mm -hmm. garden, a very typical uh, element. The, f the second thing is about the vision. The Chinese garden, usually, the facade is not important. The majority main vision is we, you, you are in some building and see out to see the landscape of the building. So you will find Miss Vandalo's building is a very simple form. <laughs> <It's a> no <laughs> form. It means no form. Right, when the people go in and you see the glass to see the landscape around the building. This is the back of his basic vision in Chinese garden. I think he learned something for Chinese <laughs> tradition. Maybe, yeah. But this, this is very funny. It's a, it's a modern architecture, some uh, special way. Yeah, I like.
Let's take the last questions in a row. Uh, <laughs> one here, one here, and one there. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi. Um, thank you for the uh, ex uh, so amazing and exciting lecture. Um, since I uh, did my undergrad degree in China, so I th I'm lucky uh, I have the opportunity to visit the um, Xiangshan campus in person. And uh, it was uh, really impressive uh, uh, in terms of the space and the, the way how the light comes in the interior space and uh, you, how you use the uh, salvage material to build a facade. Um, but as far as I know, uh, in another way, it's also a, a controversial uh, project like uh, most, of the, uh, most of other uh, great architectural works in the world. <laughs> So um, some students there, they said um, sometimes they would get lost uh, <laughs> when they go into the class because maybe the space uh, arrange is more complicated. Um, so um, I, think, um, I, uh, I think in my opinion, um, uh, it's important to like um, balance uh, uh, achieve the balance between the uh, form and the, the uh, narrative space and uh, uh, the practical function of the architecture. So um, my question is, um, when the final work, uh, the construction com coming out, uh, do you think is um, something that uh, out of your expectation, uh, your in initial expectation or um, is just something uh, you want. Uh, thank you. Maybe we can have yours and then yours. Yeah. Okay. You are repeating um, Mandarin. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 有争议的项目做有序的空间或者有序的形式吗？还是这是你意料之中的一些事情？谢谢。Do you want to okay, try to be fast? <laughs> okay, my question is super simple. So when I came to Colombia, I asked every student who is not from China the same question. Do you know any architecture from China? They have no idea, or maybe they have only one person they know is you. So the question I want to ask today is, as you said before, there is only one and a half architect in China. Are you holding the same idea today? <laughs> you need translation for this one? Or translate. Translate, you want to translate? Okay. Uh,我是您的学生汪宁的学生，不知道您是不是还记得他？所以我来到哥伦比亚学习之后，问了很多我的周边的同学，他们不来不是来自中国，就是我问他们，你知道任何来自中国的建筑师吗？他们通常的回
there's no specific period that we should go back or even current condition is part of the process. So I wonder in your project, do you see a stage of finish or is it still growing with time? Uh,就是在传统的中国建筑逻辑里面,其实可能很多建筑是没有一个完成的时间,就是所有的建筑都是在一直在一个生长的过程,即使跟自然,跟人为的干预,所以我想在你们的项目里面,你们觉得它有一
Another so thought. Another thought is that however you approach it, it will be an architect approaching it within a very limited time. So it's not a living organism. It's a rapidly produced system. So it's not a living organism. It's a rapidly produced system. So the second thing for me is how to design a system that can create a very nice environment that is more nature than the natural one. So the challenge for him is how to produce something in a very limited amount of time that's uh, similar to a natural organic system with its diversity and um, uh, the, the, the capability of continued living. The third question is, there is a sentence in the book uh, a third thing is that this town is like a labyrinth. There are more than a thousand paths. Each tourist who just come here will always get lost. But people who inhabit this place will never get lost. <laughs> 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 就是这样的一个, so it's such a system. Uh, 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 as for the question of one half architect, <laughs> lots of versions. Uh, it's in 1986. He said that sentence in 1986. It was a dialogue in Beijing with a philosopher. It was a dialogue in Beijing with a philosopher. To now, this sentence has had so many different versions. Up to now, this sentence has had so many different versions. But I think it's more like a fable. So this answer is his own. So the answer is for you to pursue. Uh, 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 a third thing that he says about our architecture, in particular here with the Sunshine Campus, is that when it finishes, it's not the best. It's going to be the best after 20 years. 其实就像中国的那个园林，这个园子里面因为有很多的植物。So uh, it's just like Chinese gardens. In the garden, there are lots of plants. 需要通过时间慢慢的生长起来，和自然一起融合，越来越好。They need time to grow and to merge with nature, and then that will be better. 当然，建筑师预先设计了这个系统。but the architect designed the system uh, to anticipate that uncertainty in the future. So we hope our architecture is not adding burden to this earth, but really a system that thinks about how uh, the future can be sustainably uh, lasting. So it's uh, a growing architecture with time. Well, this is probably a fantastic moment to thank you for being here. <laughs>